Have you ever reached out to open a door and thought, why does this handle feel warmer than the other one I touched earlier? Maybe it was a cold morning and one handle seemed to bite back with a chill, while another seemed neutral or even strangely warm. It's one of those small everyday experiences we tend to overlook, but there's a fascinating blend of physics, material science, and even a bit of psychology at play. In this video, we're diving deep into the reasons behind why some door handles feel warmer than others, even when they're all in the same room and technically at the same temperature. Let's break this seemingly simple observation into something that reveals the hidden science around us, right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start with something that may seem counterintuitive. Temperature is not the same as how warm something feels to the touch. Your perception of temperature is influenced more by heat transfer than by the actual temperature of an object. When you touch something, heat either flows from your skin to the object or from the object to your skin. The direction and rate of this heat flow is what creates the sensation of hot or cold. So, when a door handle feels cold, it's not because it's colder than the air around you, it's because it's pulling heat out of your hand faster than your body can replace it in that spot. On the flip side, a handle that feels warm isn't necessarily hotter. It just isn't pulling as much heat from your hand, and it may even be transferring a bit of heat to your skin. This difference in heat transfer is the key to the mystery. The next big piece of the puzzle is the material that the door handle is made from. This is where thermal conductivity comes in. Thermal conductivity is a property of a material that determines how quickly heat moves through it. Metals, for example, have high thermal conductivity, which means they transfer heat very quickly. That's why when you touch a metal door handle, especially on a cold day, it can feel uncomfortably chilly. The metal rapidly conducts the heat away from your skin, creating that jarring, cold sensation. In contrast, materials like plastic, wood, or rubber have low thermal conductivity. These are called thermal insulators because they don't transfer heat efficiently. So when you touch a plastic door handle, it doesn't pull much heat from your hand. And therefore, it feels warmer, even though it might be the exact same temperature as the metal handle next to it. Let's take a real-world example. Imagine you're entering a building. The exterior door handle is made of metal and the interior one is plastic. It's winter, so the metal handle outside has been exposed to the cold. You reach for it and, ouch, it feels freezing. Then you walk inside and grab the plastic handle on the other side of the door. Even though the inside of the building might only be a few degrees warmer than outside, the plastic feels significantly warmer. That's not just because it's indoors. It's because the plastic isn't sucking the heat from your hand like the metal did. Now add this twist. Suppose both handles were in the same room for hours. Even then, the plastic handle would still feel warmer to the touch simply because it isn't pulling heat away from your skin as fast as the metal one. You might also wonder, what about door handles that are made from different types of metal? That's a good question, and it brings in another interesting layer of detail. Different metals have different thermal conductivities. Copper and aluminum, for example, are extremely good at conducting heat. That's why they're used in things like cookware and heat sinks in electronics. Stainless steel, on the other hand, is a poorer conductor of heat compared to those metals. So a stainless steel handle might feel slightly warmer than a brass one under the same conditions, simply because it's not transferring heat from your hand as aggressively. It's a subtle difference, but if you're sensitive, you might be able to feel it. There's also another factor that can play into how warm or cold something feels, the texture of the surface. 
A rougher surface will have less contact with your skin, which can slow down the rate of heat transfer. A smooth, polished handle might allow more of your skin to touch it directly, increasing the contact area and therefore the amount of heat being transferred. So, a rough plastic handle might feel warmer than a smooth metal one, not only because of the material, but also because of how your skin interacts with it. Interestingly, there's also a psychological aspect to all this. Our expectations and past experiences can influence how we perceive temperature. If you expect a handle to be cold, maybe because it's metal or in a chilly location, your brain might prime your senses to feel that cold more acutely. Similarly, if something looks soft or warm, you might perceive it as being warmer just based on its appearance or tactile cues. It's the same kind of sensory illusion that makes you think a white plate of food is warmer than the same food on a blue plate, even when measured at the same temperature. Our senses can be fooled, and often are. So next time you reach for a door handle and notice how it feels, think about the science happening in that tiny moment, the speed of heat flowing between your hand and the handle, the material's thermal conductivity, the handle's texture, the ambient temperature, and even your own expectations all combine to create that simple sensation of warm or cold. It's a great reminder that the world is full of subtle science, hiding in the places we touch, feel, and often ignore. Whether you're opening the fridge, walking into your office, or stepping into your home, those handles are more than just functional. They're daily encounters with the fascinating physics of heat transfer. This simple experience, grabbing a door handle, actually opens the door to deeper scientific thinking. It reminds us that science isn't always in a lab or a textbook. It's in your kitchen, your office, your front door. The everyday world is full of invisible forces and subtle interactions. You just need to know where to look. Science is everywhere. And now, you'll never touch a door handle the same way again. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.